so sweet of you, darling. Oh That's the God. least I could do. You're such a sweet guy. You like me? Lovely. Anything for you, my love? Oh, I have done without you. A lot. A lot. <laughs> Alright, now enjoy your breakfast. Yeah? Okay, baby. Finish it before it gets cold. Let me get ready for work, alright? Everywhere. Did you even sleep at all last night? Good. I had to wake up early so I can get a bit job done before my lecture time. You see why I like you. You're actually very hardworking and focused. Thank you. Uh, well, um, please, there's something I want you to do for me. Uh, okay. What could that be? You see, um, my wife is not feeling too strong this morning, so I want to ask you to please help me skip lectures today. So you can stay around and assist her with anything. You know, I wouldn't want her stressing herself. You do that for me. Sure, I I will stay. We are catch up with nature tomorrow. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. You're welcome. And keep up the good work, eh? Wow. <laughs> you know, I actually had a feeling you might be bored at home, so I just called to cheer you. <laughs> You're the very silly. You're flattering me now. Oh, sweetie, I have to run now. I actually have a lot of work staring at me right here on my desk. So you have to be good. I'll see you in the evening, okay? I love you. Okay, okay, alright. I love you, darling. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> you didn't go for lectures today. Yes, uh, both said you were not feeling fine this morning, so I stayed back in case you want me to do anything for you. <laughs> My husband is just so funny. But I'm strong. I'm not a little girl. Uh, eh? Your studies are very important, you know that. I uh, I know that, but your health is much more important. So it's worth okay, it. Okay, it's fine then. I didn't know you were around, so just go to the kitchen and look for something to eat, okay? Because it's almost two o'clock. Yeah, uh, I'll do that. I want to grab something at the back. Alright then. Bye. 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 Baby, but I'm just too risk gone. 
this still the early stage? Mm -hmm. I know. But you know that the first two weeks is the risky part of this pregnancy. See, darling, I don't want anything to happen to you nor my baby. Nothing will happen to you. Uh, let, let me even tell you, from today onwards, you see anything that has to do with chores, cleaning, and any, any, any house domestic issues, eh? please leave it for me. I will take care of it. Ha! So you want to leave your company and come and be doing the house chores? Mm -hmm. My company. This child is very good. Hello, everybody! <laughs> You're a child. My grandchild. I'm so big now. I'm fat. Oh no, you're not fat. Your sure? stature is fitted. <laughs> Let me sit there. Yeah. Oh, but Mama, you should have called me to come pick you up at the park. I guess you could be at work. Well, I guess I am not good at guessing. You're am not. I? You're not. <laughs> Well, uh, as you can see, I'm here making sure that my baby and the, my beautiful wife, they're not stressing themselves. Not to bother. I'm here now. I'll take care of my daughter. Don't you, Mama? Well, let me go quickly get something. Oh, no, 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 no. As tempting as that sounds, I'll have to say no. I am here now. Leave the cooking to me. Just like your husband said. We don't want to hear stories, okay? <laughs> you and my grandchild are important to me. Hmm? I'll cook what you will eat. My you sweet serious? girl. <laughs> yes, darling. Um, 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 mama, mama, please you. Come. That grandchild you said, please put granddaughter because this is a girl. And how do you know he's a girl? Uh, my instinct now, he doesn't like to. <laughs> Whichever. A girl or a boy is highly acceptable. I agree, Mama. But you see this one? Mm -hmm. He's a baby girl. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey, Mama, please mm -hmm. have some of this. You know you like... me you stay for at least one or two months. Honey, I wish I could. You know how my business is. I can only spare one week. Oh, Mama. But don't you think it's high time you retire from this business? Mm -hmm. At this stage of your life, you don't need stress. All you need is to relax and enjoy. And do nothing? No way. I am still very strong and agile. Since my youthful days, I've been doing business and it keeps me going. It's not entirely about the money, but it makes me happy being busy. Okay, win. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Joe. Uh, Hello, uh, Joe. I uh, I came to see if there's anything I can do for you before going for lectures. What time is your lectures? Um, 1 p.m. Um, it's 12 noon. Um, okay. I don't think there's anything you can do for me right now. But if there is any, I'll leave it till the evening. Are you going to come here or go back to your house? Um, I'll, I'll pass the night. Okay, that's fine. Then get going. Uh, <laughs> All right. Oh my, God. my dear, I think you should talk to Joe. So quit where he's living and come and live here permanently. At least until he graduates from the university. Instead of spending money, paying for his apartment, paying for his schooling and his upkeep with a little money Calvin pays him every month. What do you think? Mama, no, you're right. I've spoken to him about it before, but I think I'll still talk to him. You should insist this time. Okay? Okay. 
But how come he loved you so much? He's a good boy. Brilliant and hardworking. I like children who know where they're coming from. That's right. I heard he's the only child of his father. Oh no, his mother. Because his father is late. And he has no helper anywhere. He believes so much in himself. Schooling and working at the same time. Such a person is worth my assistance. My complete assistance. Financially and otherwise. Oh, Mama, we, mm -hmm. I don't even know what to say. Nothing, I've won. <laughs> <laughs> my dear, what would you like to eat this afternoon? Mama, you've started. What? You're pampering me so much. Oh, we'll spoil you more. That's why I want. I don't want you to cook. <laughs> no arguments. I will cook lunch for you, okay? You're spoiling me. Mm, I'll spoil you silly. Then you have to stay don't you? Bella, how, how on earth did you find me? The question should be, why did you abandon me in Kuwait? I never abandoned you. You made your choice, so I had to leave. What are you implying? Bella, Bella asked you to marry me. I was ready for us to return to this country. I was ready to settle down with you. You, you kept asking me to give you some, some time. That was because I needed some time to think. I needed to put myself together. Oh no, you lie. That was because of the affair you were having with Mr. Smith. What? Oh, you thought I never found out. Well, sorry to blow your bubbles. I discovered you were repeatedly sleeping with him. Now you listen to me, Kelvin. Whatever I did back there in Kuwait, I did for you. It was my relationship with Mr. Smith that brought about the level you are today. Oh, really? Is that what you think? Well, I, I don't even have time for all this nonsense you're talking about. But let me warn you. Just pretend like you never saw me and I never ever want you to show your face in my life again. Nonsense. Sorry, I cannot do that. Kelvin, don't walk out on me. Kelvin! husband is such a good man. He practically does everything for me. I mean everything. He even went as far as washing the dishes. Him. You see, Chris. He doesn't allow me to do a thing. Oh. Men of his class have you do such for their wife. Oh, yes. Yeah? But for him to do such a thing, ah, in this world, that means he really is a caring man. That means I'm so lucky. Understatement. <laughs> You're such a lucky girl. Oh, wow. You really married your Mr. Right. Yeah, you can say that again. But tell me, why wouldn't he want to do such for his beautiful wife carrying his beautiful child? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Good evening, Kelvin. Okay. I'm fine, thank you. Mm -hmm. How was work today? Fine. Did you stress yourself today? Not at all. Are you sure? I'm sure. I didn't stress myself. Oh, Jane, how are you doing? I'm fine. Sweetheart. Yes, baby. I am so exhausted and hungry. Uh, it's okay. You just go in, freshen up, while I serve your food, okay? Madam has spoken. Oh, Jane, hope she's giving me something to drink. Yeah. Please 
Who's the other one? I'm trying to take care of this thing before tomorrow. Okay. Hey, where, are, where are you going? Um, I, I want to quickly rush to the mall to get some things for the house. Sweetheart, you don't need all these things. All you need to do is just give me a list of what you want and I'll get it for you. No! What's all this? Eh? Maybe I am just pregnant. I am not sick. Exactly. See, I'm just being worried. No! Don't be worried about me. I'll be fine. I know you love me. I know you care for me. But then, just relax. Okay? <sighs> Nothing is going to happen to me. Well, if you say so. But you're not going to stay long there, baby. I won't. Siri, can I make use of your car? Are you asking me? This car belongs to both of us. I'm going to take care of Please, Hi. oh, sweetheart. Sit down. It's I don't okay. want to see so you. I'm sorry. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you. I'm pleased to see Drive safe for you. I am a married man now. And the sooner you stop sneaking around me, the better for you. And let me tell you something. My beautiful wife is on her way home. And I wouldn't want her to come here and meet you. So, you can leave my house now. Not so fast, Calvin. You know what? I'll forgive you for making the mistake of marrying another woman. Because that can be corrected. Oh, see, Bella. My marriage to my wife was and will never be a mistake. Do you actually know what I consider a mistake? It's meeting you in the first place. Have you forgotten so soon that I am the reason you are as worthy as you are today? If you think I will sit back and watch some lady weep from where she did not so, you have something else coming. Bella, you never accepted my marriage proposal, remember? That was because I needed some time to put myself together. You lie. That was because you never got over whatever you felt for Mr. Smith. Oh, Kevin, please, can you leave Mr. Smith out of this? And why would I want to do that? I never felt anything for him. You are the only one I love. As in, can you can you hear yourself? No, can can you say that again? Bella, I loved you. You were everything I ever wanted in a woman. Like all I ever wanted was just for us to spend our lives together as husband and wife. But what did you do? You chose Mr. Smith over me. That is not true. Oh really? It wasn't true. Bella, I loved you. Bella, you promised me the night I proposed to you to marry me. You promised that you never see Mr. Smith again. But that same night, Bella, that same night you went to his house to have sex with him. He screwed you over and over again. Bella, I'm, I, am, I am ready to pay you whatever money you gave to me back in Kuwait so that I can leave my life the hell alone. Kevin, you belong to me. You belong to me. You I love you very, very much. Fine. I know I messed up. 
Honey, I'm sorry, okay? All that is in the past now. It all ended in the way. You can start a fresh human life. Can you name your price, Kevin? Don't want you I want you. Get out of my house. Get out of my house now! Get out! Okay. I will leave. But hide at the back of your mind that if I don't have you, no one else will. Oh, really? You don't get it, do you? Let me tell you something. Another woman has me now. Now, leave my house. Get out of my house! No. Get out of my house! Nonsense! What?! God! What nonsense is this? I know, air is life. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be leaving first thing tomorrow morning. So soon? But, but yeah. Mama, I, I thought you were going to stay some more with us. Oh. <laughs> I have to go back home, son. My business needs me. And besides, I'll be coming back for your mobile soon. I'm just leaving for a short period. Oh, oh, Mama, true. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll oh, miss you too. Kelvin, Mama. I want you to take proper care of my daughter in law. And you. I don't want you to do anything that'll be stressful. I'll From now you. on. Okay? Uh, Mama, you know I'll always take care of her. I'll be yeah. trying now. I'll be <laughs> taking care of her. And you too, Mama, please, I don't want you to oh, stress yourself. Oh, if you need anything at all, please just call me. I'll be fine. See, that part of said you shouldn't be stressing yourself. <laughs> She's heard it now. <laughs> okay, see you in later then. Right. And Mama, in case what? you change your mind, uh, you can still stay somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Mama, I'll miss you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I've gotten so used to my running. Um, looks like someone is avoiding me lately. Who? You, of course. Maybe I I want you. Maybe wants you to. You stop me now. Baby, you know I can never avoid you. It's just that, you know you're pregnant. And I wouldn't want any harm to come to my people. I can actually wait till you put to bed. No. Nothing will happen to me. I want you. Please. I love you. I want you. Please, You're tempting me. You're tempting me. I want you. Bella. I love you so much. I can't bear the thought of spending the rest of my life without you. Bella, stop. Please sit down. Bella, I understand how you feel. See, whatever it is we you feel for me or we felt for each other are all in the past now. I'm a happily married man. And there's nothing anybody can do to change that. But I still love you. I love my wife, Bella. Bella, you're a beautiful woman. I mean, you're the type of woman every man would want to have as a wife. And I'm very sure you'll find that man that will love and cherish you. And both of you will live happily after. Please now, allow me to enjoy my marriage. And God will bless you. Kelvin. Bella, please understand. Please.
of so I'm not a human being again. Please, Joe. See, see, see how wicked you are. But I'm not wicked. Stop. We met. <laughs> but I want your baby to blow now. Oh, yeah, take cool. <laughs> um, sweetheart, you know, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately. What is it about? It's about Joe. What about Joe? You know, um, Joe works with us on part time basis. Okay. And very soon now, he will be done with his university, then go for his NYC. So I'm um, thinking maybe we should just look out for a capable housework to help you with the house chores, especially now that you don't need to stress yourself at all. Shidi, you're right. I, I won't lie. It has crossed my mind. I just hope we'll see someone that will be as hardworking as Joe. Well, you know that's not possible. You know, that's actually one of the things I like about that boy. But He's what? intelligent, focused, and mm -hmm. That's true, but what about you if you employ him when he's done with his NYSA? <sighs> Sweetheart. Well, okay, let's just wait till his credentials are out. So we'll see what they look like. But you can agree with me that we can miss business with sentiment. I know, but I trust him. He's very intelligent. I love this guy. Ah, I well, do. let's just wait. Let's just wait. Okay. Um, talking about what you said earlier, um, I'll call an agent to okay. know if he can help me for a house help. But then it's still far. We will still wait till August. Well, that means we have like three months. Mm. Well, you need to hurry up. I don't want to take time. We'll be in the haste now. Okay, but I cannot call anyone to call me and stay with me. I can't have two people in this building. Joe is still here with us until he graduates. Then I'll start looking for a house up. And I hope you will employ him. He just loved this one. <laughs> well, let's just wait till then. Madam has spoken. <laughs> it's okay. Sweet, sweetheart. Mm. I'm hungry. Oh, okay, let me go get you. Come, Joe. No, no, that kind of food now. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> You're so naughty. You're, You're so me. spoiled. Is that not why you married me? <laughs> Just come, let's, let's go. No! Mm, let's stay, stay here. We'll still have time for that. What is that? Oh my let's god! Go, You're go. harassing me! <laughs> this okay. thing is, this thing is oh. angry already. Okay, okay, let's go. Try ah. come. No, no, this can't be. Ah. Ah. No, I can't. Sorry. Let's just... I can't let you in, seriously. I can't. Wait. Are you sure you are normal? Do you know who you're talking to? Please step out of my way I... this minute. I'm not insulted. I suggest you watch your tongue. Please leave. Okay? You can leave now. Seriously? If you can leave now, please. Are you talking to me like that? Joe, what's, what's going on? Uh, Bella, what, what are you doing in my house? Baby, did you tell this thing here not to allow me to enter your house? Thing? See, please, Bella. I am a married man, and my wife is inside sleeping. I don't want her to come here and, and, and see you. Please leave my house. <laughs> what's going on here? Uh, 
Ever since I met you, I've never had any other thing to do with another woman. You're more than enough for me. See, Bella is, is past tense. You're just a treasure given to me by God. And I promise I'll never hurt you, your feelings. I promise. But you're indebted to her. She gave you all you have today because you promised to marry her. A promise I was willing to keep to the last. Not until she went ahead to have an affair with the same Frenchman she promised me never to have any other thing to do with. On that same night, the love and desire I had for her turned into a fire flame hatred. And she didn't give me all I have today. She only gave me little when I had nothing. I also only worked so hard to become where I am today. So what are you going to do now? I'll pay her triple of whatever she gave to me. So that she can leave us alone. <laughs> so, please, baby, please. I don't want to hurt you. No, you will not. I'll fix this, okay? I promise you. No one, I repeat, no one will ever come between us. I promise you. Okay. I love you. Killed my parents and pronounced me an outcast. And also, my parents died for a crime they knew nothing about. They died for a crime they did not commit. They even banished me from my village. I don't have anywhere. What? They said my parents were evil, but I'm also an evil child, and they cannot have me around them. They said it's their tradition. What nonsense tradition? Ah, what kind of wickedness is this? I just can't believe that people will be this heartless. I don't know. That's how I found myself in the city. Because I have nowhere to um, go. This is so sad. I'm really very sorry you have to pass through. It is where now. You can stay here. Are you serious? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jane. I don't know what I would have done without you. Thank you. God bless you. Soonest, you get a job. An apartment as well. So for now, don't bother yourself. Thank you so much. I don't know what I would have done without you. God bless you for me. Thank you. <laughs> what are friends for, darling? You're the best, you know, you're the best girlfriend. <laughs> hmm. Wow. You see why it's good to have betrayers like you in this world? Without people like you, this world would be empty. Trust me. And what's the meaning of that? For just a little price, you sold your friend out to a total stranger. You revealed her top secret to her rival, knowing fully well that I could use it against her. Now, what kind of friend does that make you? You are very stupid. You pleaded with me to give you information about rules, which I did. Now, you're trying to use it against me. Girlfriend, you gave out a little bit more than I asked for. You made it all easy and simple for me. I'm just wondering. What kind of a friend reveals her best friend's top secret to a total stranger? Thanks, anyways. Why do I care? You know nothing about me. Oh, I guess I do now. <laughs> I told you all this to pay her back for taking my man. Now this is getting more interesting. Is this what this is all about? I met Calvin before her. Oops. Girls who go to the girls. 
Can I tell you something, darling? You are nothing but a betrayer. You just betrayed your friend. Gosh. Why am I even sitting here? Huh? Is that why I'm here? I don't blame you. Yeah? I don't blame you. <laughs> betrayer. Come and sit down and gossip. Oh. You didn't know anything about her before asking her to marry me. But don't worry, love. I got you back. I'll tell you all about it. I'm a friend to Rose. I called her and she said she's at home, so I'm here to see her. Hello. Okay. Make her go call her for you. Oh, oh, come on, dear. You don't have to bother yourself. Don't worry, I'll just go and meet her, okay? Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you. People, I say, no, only me knows I speak English for this house. Hey, even friends, where they come, their own boss. So as this one they speak with nose. Hey. Hey. The group forget to know good though. Hey. What are you doing here? Come on. Come on. Do you have to ask me that each time I come here to see you? See him as what? Listen, Bella, or whatever your name is called. I've had enough of your rubbish already. You see this man here? He is my husband. And this is my matrimonial home. So the earlier you get that into your this call, the better for you. You are not welcome here. Now leave my house! Says an Osu. Osu? Sorry, what, what, what's that to say again? What? <laughs> um, see, Bella, oh you heard her. See, I'm actually in a very good mood today. So I'll give you the opportunity to walk out through this door in peace. Or you want it the other way around. And trust me when I say, you won't like it when I push you down. You just called me darling. I kind of like the sound of that. Um, Kelvin. 
There is something your lovely wife here didn't tell you about what she is or who she is. Well, I care less about whatever you think she didn't tell me about who she is. I know all I need to know about my wife. Ah, did she tell you she's an outcast? Osu and Osu Kerry. Do you know what that means in Igbo land? Oh, okay. If you think I'm lying, let her look you in the eyes and deny it. She can't. She's not a very good liar. One thing I never impressed him about her. Oh, she is a cause. Cause Osu. I seriously better. No, like seriously. Is there something else you want to say? Well, I guess not. I'll leave my house. Leave my house. You are actually pushing. Get out of my house. Can you imagine? What are you looking at? My spirit, no they lie. What's that supposed to mean? When you enter this compound, now I see one big signboard on your forehead with a right home breaker with big letter. Hm? Dirty illiterate. It is capital letter and not big letter. Which plain illiterate. So, you know, say, na capital letter they use right home breaker for your forehead. Nonsense. Don't you dare insult me, you stupid house girl. It is in me, I be my ogre. Hmm. My ogre try push you, come and say. If try me, if he try me, I go tell you, say, small body, no be sickness. I will deal with you, eh? Nonsense. I don't blame you. I don't have time for a lunatic like you. Rubbish. No, no, there's nothing you've not seen. Now, maybe you not. What be your fault now? Beautiful witch. You know. Rose keeps such secrets from me. Yet she claims she loves me. Man, if she had told you this earlier, would you have married her? Yes, I don't know. I don't know. Look, she was scared of losing you. That's why she kept this a secret. Mm -hmm. So, what are you going to do about it now? Okay, my friend. So I'm gonna ask you the same question. What do they advise me to do? Honestly, in this case, I don't know. But Rose is a wonderful lady. If you should ask me, my advice on this is that do not allow this break up your home. Do marry an Osu for any reason? Hey man, don't ask me that, please. Okay, okay, wait. I'm with you on this 100%. Trust me, whatever your decision is, I'm backing you up 100%, okay? Chill, sure, man. Just take your drink. This meeting was, and yet you choose to ignore it. And yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, I've been trying, but you know, it's not been easy. I've just been trying to put one or two things together. But... Is this about your wife and the outcasting? 
you shouldn't overthink this man, Kelvin. From all indications, your wife isn't an outcast by bed. You shouldn't listen to what Bella has been permitting. Try and get back in life, man. If only you know what Bella also means, Nelly Roland. He won't be saying all these things you're saying. Kelvin, it's like that everywhere. No one wants to associate with an outcast. But Rose's case is different. She isn't an outcast by bed. What difference does it make? No, tell me. What difference does it make? Do you know that the entire village gathered and laid a course on after they killed her parents for committing whatever crime it is they committed? If you ask me, I think Ruth's case is worse. Gosh. But she's pregnant for you, Kelvin. For you. Do you ever think of that? You know, that's actually the number one problem there. Because from what I'm seeing, I don't think Ruth will ever deliver safely. Kelvin. Don't Kelvin me, my Jesus. You're not in my shoes, you don't know what I'm going through. My love, lunch is served. Shall we proceed to the dining, please? Last time I checked, I was still married to my wife. So if there's anybody who should make lunch for me, it should be Rose, not you. Why? Because she's still my wife for heaven's sakes. And what am I? Oh, you want to know what you are? No, you're nothing to me. Oh, maybe you're something. Do you know what I think you are? You are a homebreaker. There's nothing, absolutely nothing good to write home about you. What? What are you even doing here in the first place? Leave my room. Kevin, I saved you from the outcast you marry without knowing who she truly is. You should be appreciating me for that. No. Let me tell you what you did. You came into my home and took away my joy and happiness. The moment you showed your face in my house. Did you think I needed to know who my wife was before I married her? Well, it feels like someone is really mad at his wife for knowing who she truly is. No. I am mad at her because she lied to me. Had she told me the truth the first time we met, it wouldn't have changed a thing about the way I felt for her. Felt? That sounds like past tense to me. Oh, Kelvin, she lied to you. She hid her true identity from you, yet she claims to love you. You and I know what being an Osu means in Igbo land, especially the village where you come from. Your tradition forbids it. You know the consequences that will follow if you continue with this marriage. Oh, really? Well, thank you so much. Eh? Thank you so much for revealing the true identity of the woman I married. Now I want to be left alone. And you can't stay in this house. You can't stay in this room. Now leave my room. Kelvin, trying to avoid me won't change a thing. Why are you still keeping her in this house? Why don't you kick her out? Let's start our lives afresh. You know I love you so much. Bella, leave my room. Leave my room! Oh, please. Nonsense. What's all this now? Kevin! Kevin! Where is that? Mama, mama, Who are you? And who is your mama? So you are the devil! Or you are the girl that never has said to destroy me! Hope I have an happiness of my son! Eh? You are a terrible liar! You have failed! You have failed woefully! Uh, mom? My, 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 my wife. 
Baby, your mother pushed me. She only pushed you. She was kind enough then. Is that all you have to say? I have a follow up in this house. <laughs> there is nothing I lost. In my own house, this is my money. about it. How did she get to know so much about you? Jane. Jane told her. Mama. Jane is my friend. And she's the only one I know. When I called you little Lagos. She sold you out to a total stranger. Mama, I am not an outcast. Believe me, the family lineage is freeborn. All this did happen after. Your parents were accused of a crime that they did not commit. And they were buried alive by the evil elders. And thereafter, you were pronounced an assault. You told me all about it. Remember? My son told me so many beautiful things about. Um, yes, my name is Rose. Okay. But I don't know you. I am Amelia. Okay. Calvin's. Ah! <laughs> Stop to How are you, dear? I'm oh, fine, thank you, ma. So good to see you, ma. Oh, you're so indeed happy. a stunning beauty. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma. You're, you're beautiful, too. Mm. Thank you. In my youthful days, I was the countess of all the handsome young men. Really? <laughs> True, I shouldn't be telling you that. But I have the feeling that you will make a wonderful wife. <laughs> uh, uh. Pray so, Ma. Um, Mama, since you walked in here, you've been showering praises on me. How I'm so beautiful, how I'm this and that. I never knew I'm that beautiful, seriously. My dear, you are extremely beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Mama, your son is not home. He's gone to work. Mm -hmm. I know. Well, let me quickly get you something to eat. Oh, it's okay. In as much as I would like to have a taste of your food, okay. but I can wait. I have come to see the girl my son has chosen to spend the rest of his life with. Hmm. Okay. Let me begin by asking you to tell me about yourself. Mama, I, I think Kelvin has already told you everything about me. The little he knows about you. Okay. You tell me everything. I mean everything. 
about you, your parents, and where you come from. Just everything. I mean, no mother will allow her son to get married to an outcast. No mother will allow her son to make the mistake of marrying an outcast. But in your own case, you are different. <laughs> Till now, I'm still wondering how you opened your arms and welcomed me after listening to my sad story as your daughter-in-law. <clears throat> my dear, it's okay. Mama is not okay. It's not okay. What is important is that you're not an outcast by birth. <sighs> My mother had a similar experience. What? My grandfather had an issue with his younger brother of a piece of land. When his younger brother saw that his chances of winning the piece of land were slim, the piece of land in question rightfully belongs to my grandfather. His younger brother plotted his downfall and had him killed. Oh my God. And my grandmother was pronounced an usu and sent out of the community. His younger brother wanted to silence him completely because he wanted to take over his piece of land and claim his properties. There was this particular couple that had a problem with my grandfather. But when they realized they had wronged him thereafter, they went to the market and bought some tubers of yam and a goat. They went to my grandfather's compound, but unfortunately, he was not at home. He had gone to the farm. My mother had gone to her aunt's place where she was schooling. Do you know what happened? What happened? My grandfather's younger brother came into the compound and slaughtered the man, his wife, and his son and ran away. My God. <laughs> when my grandparents came back, they were shocked to see the bodies lying in the compound. The entire village gathered and stoned them to death. <gasps> Years later, his younger brother was at the point of death. That was where he made his confession. <laughs> that he was the one that murdered that family. <sighs> and made it look as if my grandparents did. Your case and my mother's are similar. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you. It's okay. You're a good girl. And if your parents are innocent of what they accuse them of, then the curse will not be effective. It's all right. Go and see my son.
What do you want from my son? I am talking to you, Queen Jezebel, the devil. Well, your son and I are getting married very soon. <laughs> that will happen only when I'm dead. And be rest assured, I'm not dying anytime soon. My son is happily married. To an outcast? What? Oh, I don't think so. Wait, I'm trying to get something straight here. What kind of a mother will allow her son to marry an outcast? Or soon, knowing the consequences? Wait, are you really sure you give birth to Kelvin? Don't talk to me in such a rude manner, okay? Kelvin and I have been engaged right from when we were in Kuwait. Oh, really? His marriage to Rose was the greatest mistake of his life. Mm -hmm. And he is just about to correct that mistake. Okay. If you must know, your son owes me. <laughs> Jezebel, mm -hmm. whatever my son owes you, he will pay in full. But as for getting married to you, it will never happen. <laughs> this nonsense should stop. This nonsense should stop. Rubbish. <laughs> People should know what it means to be an Usu in Igbo land and even other parts of the land. My son, he's just a victim of an ugly circumstance. She was not born with the Usu blood. She was pronounced an Usu after the people framed up her parents and had them killed. Mama, we are not even sure. She only told us this. I mean, how are we even sure that what she's even telling us is the truth? What has that girl done to you? That Bella girl. You don't seem to like her, do you? Yet you allow her to stay under the same roof with you and your wife. I'm going to leave Bella out of this. Oh no, we will not leave Bella out of it. She's the architect of this whole thing. You are living pretty happy with your wife in peace and harmony, before this evil child came into the picture. She's trying to destroy your happiness, your home. You know what I think, son? It is working for her, because you let it. Let me even ask you, do you actually know that this Bella girl saved me? How? I mean, do you know what the consequences would have been if I had gone ahead with this marriage? there would have been consequences if she was born with the Osu blood. What do you mean if you had gone ahead with the marriage? Are you divorcing Rose? Honestly, I don't even know what I want anymore. Mm -hmm. But what difference does it make? Whether she was born an Osu or maybe she inherited it. Whichever way doesn't change the fact that she's still an Osu. Mama Osu. Okay, I've heard. My son, I am your mother. You are my son. You are the only thing I have in this whole world. I love you so much, kid. I will not see anything that will put your beautiful future in danger and encourage it. I am your mother and I know the tradition. Very well. Rose does not deserve this, son. Think. Think. Please.
Hey, then I need to talk to you. There is nothing to talk to you about. Kelvin, please. I love you. Leave me alone. Kelvin, I love you so, so much. Why are you tormenting me this way? Did I hear you right? <laughs> no, you love me, Rose. You love me, yet you lied to me. So I wouldn't have known that the woman I'm married to is an outcast if, if, if Bella hasn't come into the, the, the picture. No, I told you everything about myself and my family. Yes, you told me. Believe me. You told me, yes. But except for one thing. The only thing I needed to know, Rose. Yeah, you told me everything, but you never told me that you're a bloody outcast. You, you know, Bella has always been right. Of course, you couldn't deny it. Rose, you are no Osu. Osu! I am not an Osu. Stop calling me an Osu. But of course, that's what you are. An outcast. Osu. Or maybe, maybe you're even something worse. A banished an abomination. Abomination, that is what you are. Leave Kelvin alone. Leave us, leave this house, get out! Rubbish. What are you doing? Why are you doing all this? Huh? Kelvin will never marry you. So give up. Listen, listen. I have an advice for you. Quit. Wow. Wow. That's a lot coming from a wretched gatekeeper. Listen, too much. listen, I, I don't care what you call me. Okay? For you see these two? Those two were found together. They were happy together. The atmosphere here was just okay. Not until you walked in with your dirty self. And everywhere became ugly. Hey. You listen to me, Joe, or whatever your silly name is. I thought they said you graduated from the university. Yes? It's bad enough that Calvin had to send you to university with my hard-earned money. But I guess you couldn't get a job because slavery was in your family lineage. Just wait until Rose is gone and I finally take my place in Calvin's life as his lovely wife. Then I'll show you how ruthless lives like you are treated. You wish. wish. Yeah, you wish. Because that would never happen. <laughs> I don't get it. Kevin hates you if you've not noticed. Mm. He hates you with every single strength in him. Mm. But I don't understand it. Is it that you cannot find yourself a man of your own? Huh? Rather than running around your, another woman's husband? Are you not ashamed of yourself? No, are, you, are you not ashamed of yourself? What kind of nonsense is this? Hey, 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 don't you dare, don't you dare try that. Hey, you see, Rose? She's a very wonderful person. Come on, you can never be half of the woman she is. Which is why Kevin finds her so attractive enough to get married to her. If you think you are half a woman she is, then go get a, a man of your own. Stop fighting over another woman's husband. What's your problem? This is not your fault. This is not your fault. I don't blame you. You're wasting your beauty. By the time I'm through with all of you in this house, you will know who Bella is. Silly thing. Idiot. Calvin, um, where is my daughter in law? I am not in the mood for any form of question now, especially one that has to do with Rose. She is not in her room or anywhere around this place. What? Ah, oh, what? Pray, pray that nothing happens to that girl and her unborn child. Because if anything happens to them, I will curse you. Mom. I will surely curse you. Mom, it hasn't come to this now. Oh, yes, it has. Joe. Good evening. Good evening. Have you seen Rose? Um, yes, she actually ran past me on my way here. I uh, barefooted and tears all over her face. I actually tried to stop her, but she ran past me before I could do anything. Is, is there a problem? If anything happens to Rose, son, her blood will be on your head. It will definitely be on your head! 
Uh, when did you see her? I, I, she actually ran past me on my way here. Is there, is there a problem? Wow. So, somebody finally realized that she's no longer welcome in this house. Maybe don't you think you should celebrate? If, 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 you, if you touch Mauki. Calvin! She is not worth it! Uh, hey, I think there's one person here who is worthless. And that person is your kid. Please, where are you? Rose, where are you? Where are you, Rose? Oh my God. Hey, Rose, please, I promise you, I will never talk about this Osu thing or outcast thing again. Please forgive me, Rose. Please forgive me. You was right. You was right. I, I will never talk about this thing again. I, I wasn't just thinking, I was just being stupid. Rose, please let me find you. Let me find you, Rose. I, I can't even imagine my life without you, Rose. Rose, please, God help me. Hi. Where do I find me? Where do I find my wife? Where do I find Rose? <sighs> God.
I'm glad all this trouble. Oh, ma'am, we'll be happy as well today. Exactly. How would I have known that he was my father's best friend? God, him framed up and cute. It's okay. <laughs> well, he came as a shock to all of us all. But he, he got his deserved punishment as he died a disgraceful death. There is no punishment worse than what he got. He deserved more. He is a wicked man. My parents would have still be alive. It's all right, my darling. Don't let that bother you. It's all in the past now. I'll be a wonderful mother to you. I promise. You will not miss your mom that much anymore. Okay? Thank you, Mama. Thank you. It's okay, darling. Okay? What are you doing here? Leave my house! It's all right. Take it easy. It's okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Mom. No way. I will not listen to you. She will leave. Go away from my house. I don't want you. I'm not going anywhere. Please forgive me, Ruth. Please, I beg you. Please forgive me. Please, please. I know I've really wronged you as a friend. I know I don't deserve to be your friend. I know I betrayed our friendship. God, please forgive me. In the name of God, please forgive me. If you want, you can hit me, you can slap me, you can do anything, but please don't hit me. Yes. <laughs> please don't hit me, I beg you, please. I'm sorry, I'm very, very sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, all right? All right, once in a while. We humans fall out of line. But when we fall out of line, and we have realized that we're falling out of line, we try to come back in line at all costs. Which means we're truly sorry for having allowed ourselves to fall out of line in the first place. But when we manage to come back in line, we try as much as possible not to fall out of line ever again. Mistakes are inevitable. It's human nature. I am not asking you not to forgive her or to forgive her. She has wronged you in the past and she has come crying, begging for forgiveness. Then, I think she is truly sorry. Okay? Please forgive her. Medium to apologize for all the pains I've caused you and your wife. I let my emotions be cloud my sense of reasoning. I shouldn't have come back for you in the first place. I want you all present to know that that wasn't me. That wasn't me all along. I had to put on another person's character just to see if I could win you back, Kevin. 
But as I say, you can eat your cake and have it. <clears throat> I guess I've eaten my cake a long time ago. Please forgive me. I also ask your wives to forgive me. I am gone for good. Forget about the money I gave you. You can keep it. Be happy with your beautiful wife. Be happy with your family. Did I forget to say, your wife is a beautiful and a wonderful lady. Be a good husband to her and a sweet dad to your children when they are born. Hmm. I want to be your child's uh, best friend. I want to be your friend. Please, Bella. Boots. Well, I think uh, this is the right time. I think this. Mm. Salty love. <laughs> <laughs>